What's up, y'all? How y'all doing out there in the YouTube community? Y'all there in the YouTube world and stuff, you feel me? It's your girl, Tiffany, and I'm back at it with another video. Another seven ways, seven different choices, seven different chances, however y'all want to put it. That's why my video is going to go. So if you haven't read by the title of this video, go ahead and let you guys know what this is. This video is just a little video that I would have told myself 20 years ago. Seven different things that I would have told my 18 year old self 20 years ago to maybe avoid some stuff that I have came through all night. So if this video touches you, go ahead and subscribe. If it don't touch you, go ahead and share it with somebody else. Maybe you can share, you know, help somebody else and they can share it with somebody else. You know, the law averages, I don't know. So let me go right into the video. Go ahead and get into this little seven different things that I would have told my 18 year old self. And you know what's so funny, man? YouTube, my little kings and queens out there. In about a year, my daughter will be 18. So these seven things I have inflicted in her, so she wouldn't go through the same things that I have went through in life. So these seven things I'm bringing to you guys, it may be to help you guys out so you won't be going through it at 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 90, you know. Some people go through stuff for a long time. So stick with the video, go ahead, tap in with your girl, and you won't be disappointed. Alright, so the first thing into this video, one thing that I would have told my 18 year old self when I was when I was 18, 20 years ago, something that I would have told myself that it took me a long time to figure out is to let go of control. Control. Control is something that, is that we don't have. And it took me a long time, you guys, to figure out that man, life happens. Life actually happens. And some stuff you can't control. Some stuff you can't control. So don't ponder on the stuff that you can't control. Sometimes I took weeks, days, a whole lifetime there near trying to figure out stuff that I couldn't control. So when you get to that point when you know it's something that you can control, let go. Let it go. Give it to the universe. Don't wait so long to figure out that some things you can't control. You can't. All right, you guys. So the second thing on my list that I would have told my 18-year-old self a couple of years ago is toxic. Understanding and realizing toxic people, having toxic relationships, toxic friendships, realizing that early, man. Realizing that sometimes the universe brings toxic people in your life so you can know what you don't want. Sometimes the universe brings toxic relationships so you can know your work. So if I could tell myself something 20 years ago when I was 18, fresh 18, what they call it, fresh fish or something like that, if I could have told myself 20 years is you're going to experience toxic people. You're going to experience toxic relationships. You're going to experience toxic friendships, fake love. If I knew how to peep it out then, like I knew how to peep it out now, man, I would have avoided so much heartache and I don't know. So if that's one thing I could have told myself 20 years ago when I was 18, it's toxic people. You gotta realize when they come, when, when toxic people, how they energy suckers. How they like come into the world just to suck all your energy. Toxic. They just toxic. You gotta you gotta steer away from toxic because they'll start well, you just start rubbing off on you. You can kind of smell it. It smells kind of like hater. You know what I'm saying? So just stay away from toxic people. If you fresh 18 right now, if you want ideas and tips and different little ways you can spot a toxic person, hit me up. I got you. So we had it. We had our third thing that I would have told my 18 year old self two decades ago. Two decades ago, I would have told myself this. And the third thing that I would have told myself is Stop tripping on why stuff happens. You know how when stuff happens to you and you be like, damn, why is it happening to me? Why is this happening to me? Why is he leaving me? Why is this happening? Why is my car broken? 
little stuff like that I've pondered on for so many years. So many years. So if I could go back 20 years from there, when I was 18, when I was fresh, I would tell myself, you guys, you guys have no idea. I would tell myself how not to focus on the why. Why is it happening to me? Let's start following this home. It's happening to me. And it's happening for me. And it's happening for me for a reason. The universe will move people out your life for a reason. The universe takes stuff from you for a reason. He shuts doors for a reason. And sometimes we can ponder on why me? Why me? Sometimes it's not you. Most of the times it's not you. So if I could go back 20 years from now, you guys, I would really tell myself right now, stop tripping on why it's happening to you. And start tripping on why it's happening for you. All right, you guys, so we on the fourth thing. Uh, just the thing that I would have told myself 20 years ago when I was fresh 18, fresh meat, giving me fresh into life. Something that I wish that somebody would have told me, and maybe I wouldn't have took so long figuring it out. But hey, that's why. That's what happens. It takes some time to figure stuff out, and sometimes you don't. But the fourth thing that I would have told myself when I was fresh 18, fresh trying to figure out the world is. Don't apologize for being you. Don't apologize for how you raise your kids. Don't apologize for how you dress. Don't apologize for how you live life. Unapologetically be you. So when I was 18, man, that was back in the 90s, fresh 90s. The world was crazy. You know, I had my son. My oldest son was like two. I'm 18, fresh 18. It felt like I had to, to be something that I was. You know, I went to college, got a degree to prove to other people, like, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even doing that with my college degree. So one thing that if I could go back 20 years ago and I could tell my 18-year-old self is, do what you do and unapologetically do you. Don't apologize for being you. Don't apologize for how you act. Don't apologize for what comes out your mouth. If you meant it, you said it. All right, you guys. Thank you guys for sticking with me. We already on our fifth little tip, little advice that I would have gave my 18-year-old self 20 years ago. So thank y'all for sticking with me this long into the video. I know it's probably kind of boring, but if you're boring like me, stick with me. Man. I'm telling y'all, it's going to get more exciting as the videos come along. I'm going to get my kids on, get my man on, all that good stuff. So for now, you're going to see me. So the fifth thing that I would have told myself 20 years ago when I was 18 is do not, I'm going to repeat this you guys, do not take advice from people that don't have it. I don't know how to put that in words to where I'm not hurting nobody's feelings, but sometimes you can seek advice from people that's not in a position to even be given advice. Like, why would you seek advice about money from somebody who's a girl? Why would you seek advice about parenting from somebody who ain't got no kids? It's just like, that's one thing I wish I could go back in time in. I have to a lot of advice from people that just just did not have the receipts to prove who that was. You know what I'm saying? To the point now, I just look at people like, man, prove it. Prove it. So if I could go back 20 years ago, when I was 18, fresh me, fresh, fresh me, I would tell myself, oh, hold up, wait a minute. You don't know what he's talking about. She ain't got no kids. Why is you listening to them? They broke. They bitter. What kind of information you gonna get from me? What from them? You trying to be here and they here. You trying to be here and, and they here. Like there's no way I could get advice from you. I don't even see how you were in the position to even give me advice. People is weird, man. Y'all gotta realize sometimes you could you could try to get advice or try to get some tips or some stuff and it'd be from the wrong people. They could lead you down the wrong path. So if you fresh, you fresh, even if you're 40, 50 years old, and you're like, man, damn, I should have realized 
60 years ago, whatever. Do not take advice, tips from people that don't have them. If you're trying to start a business, don't take advice from somebody who's working at 9 to 5. If you're trying to have a happy relationship, don't take advice from somebody who's only working at freaking marriage. Come on, people, we gotta do better. So, if I can go back in time, I would tell myself that. Do not take advice from them. They don't know what they're talking about, they're just talking. Realize it early, and you won't have to realize it when you're freaking about to die. All right, you guys, so we at the sixth thing. Thank you guys for sticking with me. I'm a one-woman show, man. I'm pressing the record button. My daughter, she looked up the lights, but I'm editing. I'm doing all this by myself right now. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. So, like I said, go ahead, tap in with me. You won't be disappointed. You won't be disappointed. We are mine. 16 that I would have told myself when I was 18, 20 years ago. All right, nah. But the 16 that I would have told myself, man, is just appreciate life. You have to appreciate life. Life is not guaranteed. I might cut off this camera right now and anything might happen. So whatever it is in your heart, do it. Whatever you feel like you want to do today, do it today. Don't wait till tomorrow. Do it right now. Appreciate life while you have it. Show some gratitude. Show some gratitude. For 20 years, you guys. 20 years, and I can say that it really took me 20 years to get this concept about life in my head. And that's just enjoy life. Appreciate life. Appreciate what the universe has blessed you with right now. All right, you guys. So thank you, guys. Why do I keep saying all right, you guys? I keep saying that every time I start a new, a uh, new thing. All right, you guys. I gotta come better, y'all. I gotta come better. But anyway, thank y'all for sticking with me through my last little tip that I would have told myself 20 years ago that I'm trying to share on you guys. And that seventh thing is some people is just not happy. Some people are just not happy. And that's something you can control. Some people just wake up every day and just don't want to be happy. They'd rather be bitter than better. It's like they're so used to not being happy. Soon as there's something happy that's happening to them, they don't want to react. And I, I wish I could have realized that 20 years ago when I was 18. That sometimes people just don't want to be happy. It ain't got nothing to do with you. So that's you're gonna try everything in your power to make people happy and they still don't want to be happy. Oh no, bro, it's not me. It's you. And it took me 20 years to realize that. That some people just don't want to be happy. I don't know why. Everybody wake up, everybody got the same 24 hours. What is your reason for not being happy today? Why? So that's one thing I wish I could have told myself 20 years ago. Because I swear, it would have really just... I could have avoided a lot of friendships. A lot of fake boyfriends. If I would have just realized that people would just not want to be happy. They were raised unhappy. So now they're still happy. At 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, they're unhappy. Enjoy life every day. Every day is a reason to be happy. So don't not be one of those people that just don't want to be happy. Just don't want to be happy. If I could just realize that as well, I could have lived through so many. I could have just walked to people like, oh, yeah, you don't want to be happy. Oh, no, I ain't going to wait six months on you. You don't want to be happy. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, you don't want to be happy. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it takes you so long to realize that this motherfucker just don't. And he is not about to suck the energy out of me because he is bitter or because she is sad. Yeah. So, y'all, that's the end of this video. That's the end of this video. I'm done. I'm done. I hope you guys like it. I really do.
But if you don't, oh well. I hope you come back and watch me again. I hope you guys tap in. Because I'm going to be on y'all screen three days from now with another video with another seven different ways and there were seven different reasons. I might just have seven different reasons to sit on my front porch. Seven different reasons to say hello. I don't know. However I feel, I'm going to do it. So until then, you guys enjoy life. Cause that's all you have. You have one life. So enjoy. And I'll see y'all in three days.